Hello everyone. Welcome to part 40 of SQL for beginner series. In this video session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about null value is null operator is not null operator. So in this video session, I am going to explain about three things that is null value. Second thing is is null operator. This is an operator, guys. Is null is an operator. The third thing is is not null operator. So null value and these two things are the operators. Is null operator and is not null operators. Let's start with the first thing that is null value. What is a null value? Let's take an example of a table, guys. Let's take an example of a table. This particular table has, let's say, three columns. This table has three columns. The first column name is ID. Okay. The first column name is ID. The second column name is name. And third column name is, let's say, experience. Fine. Like this, we have three columns. And in this table, we can add the data. Right. We can add the data into the first record of this particular table. Under ID, let's say I'm adding the data as one, name as Arun, and experience as some 12. Similarly, I'm adding another record. That is, ID is two, name is Varun, and experience is five. That's fine. Now, another record I'm adding. ID is three. This is Tarun, name is Tarun, and experience is seven. Here, all these three records that I have inserted into this particular table, let's say this table name is employees table. In the employees table, I added three records. First record has uh, all the values filled, right? It, uh, ID has one, name has Arun, and experience has 12. Similarly, second record also has uh, all the data, and third record also has uh, all the data. Now, when I'm trying to enter the insert the fourth record, I am only inserting the ID and name. Okay, ID as four and name as something like Alice. Now, under experience, while inserting this fourth record data, I am not inserting the experience. Okay, I'm only inserting the ID and name, but not experience. When you are not inserting anything into any of the column value, okay, then this will be treated as null case. This is known as null value. Okay, in a table, if you insert some data and if you intentionally don't insert any particular data into any of the column value, okay, that column value will be treated as a null value. Here, the fourth record, only the ID and name got inserted, but not the experience. In that case, experience column value will be null value. Fine, guys. Fine. So let me practically demonstrate how to insert the null value. Okay. If you don't insert anything into a particular column value, that is treated as a null value. Okay. So let's switch to some practical mode now. So here, by default, the world database is kind of selected. I want to perform operations on the QFox database. How to do that? I have to say use QFox. Then only I can perform operations on QFox. I have to select the database by using this use QFox statement, SQL statement. Now QFox got selected and we can perform operations. Now I want to find out what are the different tables that are available in this QFox database. I'll, I'll use the command show tables. So only employees table is available. You can expand this and see only employees table is available. Now I want to see what is there any particular data okay which is already inserted into this employees table for that i will use select star from table name that is employees okay select star from employees then i'll i will get to know what is the data that what are the data or what are the records that are already inserted into this employees table run it you see this is all the data so four records of data already got inserted into this employees table and if you observe one of the record here, that is fourth record, it has already some data inserted, that is ID as four, 
name as alice and experience is null null means you have not inserted any value now, now let's insert one more record okay apart from this existing four records which i have already inserted into this employees table as part of the previous videos right as part of the previous videos i added this particular data into the employees table four records added fourth record has this null value but in this video session let me insert another record that is fifth record here okay and i would like to uh, insert nothing into the experience so that null value will be inserted. null value will be available in the fifth record also so such kind of insert statement i am going to write insert into which table employees table values as okay values as id as 5 name as samkiran will this work guys will this particular statement work or not as explained in the previous video this will give e a particular error okay this will give an error guys here there are three columns that is id name experience but i am only providing the values for two columns that is id and name only i am providing but not for experience then i am going to get a error and this you see column count doesn't match value count at row one okay the value count is two column count is employees uh, column count is three so that's the problem so how to overcome this after employees i have to add the circular brackets and uh, close it and then in this i have to specify the columns that i want to insert the data okay only id and name i would like to insert i don't want to insert the data into the experience column so insert into employees okay only insert the data into id and name but not into the experience column so value should be fine this time this particular statement will work you see the one row got affected that means it got inserted the data new record got inserted now let's run the same select star from employees to see whether this particular data got really inserted when i when i executed the select star from employees now i got under this table i got five records fifth record has id and name but not experience if you have not inserted any value using the insert into statement then that value is going to be the null value okay null value fine that's good next thing is next thing is this is all about the null value is okay what is a null value if a particular column value doesn't have any value inserted that value is known as a null value so how to insert using the insert into statements okay like this we can we can insert the uh, i mean if you don't insert anything in a particular column value that will become a null value okay this kind of situation will come next things are so i explained about the null value this is done remaining things are is null operator and is not null operator so what is the purpose of the is null operator let's say here one more record added right in our example one more record added that is fifth record having the id as 5 and here kiran is there okay and here again we have not inserted any value into this experience uh, column value so it became the null value now i want to filter the records okay i want to out of all these records just that uh, this particular employees table has okay there are total five records out of this i would like to filter the records having the null value under the experience column okay only the records having the null experience i would like to filter so how to do that using is null operator we can do that let me practically demonstrate if i say select star from employees what will happen all the records in the employees table will be displayed here like this now if i extend something like this where okay where experience can I say is is equal to null? Is this possible? Is equal to null? Ex where experience is equal to null, so that I can filter all the records having the experience as null. Is it possible? This will not. This is not correct, guys. Experience is equal to null is not correct. Okay, we should not be using like this. You see, you got nothing here. It's getting executed, but the problem is whatever you are expecting is not happening. When experience is null, still experience is null, even though you are not getting any records here okay the records having the null value are not coming how to overcome this here when you say where experience you should not say is equal to null this is not correct instead you have to use is null operator okay where experience is null you have to say when you run this you see out of five records 
fourth record and fifth record has this experience as null so now it is working how to use is null operator like this you have to use where experience is null similarly okay now remove this again go back to the, all the five records so out of five records if i say where experience is equal to none only this fourth and fifth record came now i want to retrieve all the records which doesn't have the null value in the experience okay so only three records one two three has experience values filled properly okay these are not null values so in that case how to filter them okay without null null experience uh, records i would like to filter where experience the same thing where experience instead of is null we have to use is not null if i say where experience is not null all the records which are having some experience data available okay those will be retrieved run this you see first second third record having the experience data available okay will be retrieved so guys this is how okay this is how we have to use is null operator and is not null operator for filtering the records and i have also explained in this video session about what exactly is a null value so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye